um, which means she is indeed made up. And her job is to come to the earth and bring powerful women, passion for justice, passion for the arts, creativity, basically heal the planet, be the big mother earth. And uh, an interesting thing happened when Sinove was there in the sanctuary of St. Paul's, which was that there were several people who were moved to tears when they saw this big icon coming down the aisle and then taking the stage. Um, but she has rather humble beginnings. Um, I first thought of her in Waldport, Oregon, at a Norwegian fast food drive-in, where there was, a, there was a cook named Sunove, and she and her husband, Einar, were there, uh, and my friend Cassandra and I uh, played a little Norwegian song for them outside the takeout window, and uh, they were indeed surprised. <laughs> Little did she know that she would become a goddess. So here we are. Sunove was a goddess. I was thinking about Sunove one day, and I thought the thing that distinguishes Sunove from other deities is that she doesn't have a big head. She's just like a regular person. <laughs> and bacteria, bamboo and wisteria, even kids in the cafeteria. And we're dancing with Sanube's children, and we're laughing with Sanube's children, and we're singing with Sanube's children. Out in the sunshine, don't try. 